Roads and bridges in and around Duluth are closed because of heavy flooding. Now a cleanup mission is underway. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Betsy Singer. Governor Dayton has declared a state of emergency for Duluth after heavy rains caused major flooding and evacuations. The Weather Service says that up to nine inches of rain soaked northeastern Minnesota overnight and even washed out some roads. Travel to and from Duluth is being discouraged for now. Well, the flooding is also leaving behind a big loss at the Lake Superior Zoo, where some animals have drowned. Kate Renner has more on the city's losses. When water started rushing down from 82nd this. Avenue in West Duluth, rocks and sediment went along for the ride. I got a beach in my front yard and I'll look like I live on Lake Superior. Preston says the creek started flowing late last night. I could hear the rocks pinging down the road about 1 o'clock this morning. This couple is stuck in their homes as water rushed by on both sides. The woman mouthed to me that she feels sick about it. Miles away, another West Duluth neighborhood woke up covered in water. They're trying to salvage anything they can. Just trying to get everything that was worth something up off the floor in case it raises up into the first level because the basement's up to the ceiling. The waters of a nearby creek angrily rose so high it washed out four homes and multiple cars. I've never experienced anything like this before. I've been crying all day. This whole area was forced to evacuate, not giving homeowners enough time to move their cars. It happened so fast. I mean, within uh, just 45 minutes or so, uh, the house was flooded and there was no way they were going to be able to get the vehicles out. So the vehicles are totaled, the house is probably totaled. And as far as the zoo animals are concerned, two seals and a polar bear that got outside their exhibits were safely recovered.